everybody, it's your girl T and welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually going to be doing somewhat of an entire house clean. I'll be going through these rooms and getting ready for my kids to be home for Christmas break. But before we go any further, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Um, I'll be putting out more mom videos and vlogs this five days before Christmas, so it's going to be holiday related, and I'd love to take y'all on a journey with us of celebrating Christmas 2019. Um, I started off this video in the living room because actually I had all the footage of me cleaning in the kitchen, but somehow it got deleted and I just had to keep rolling through it. So I went ahead, tidied up in that living room. Now I'm hitting that downstairs bathroom. This is where guests come. My younger son uses this bathroom a lot and I just try and make sure that it is clean and sanitized and ready for people, you know, whenever they need to use it. Right now I'm taking blankets and everything up the stairs and we're getting ready to switch over the laundry as well as wipe down those washers and dryers. I don't know how they get so dirty, but they just do. Anyway, um, I'm gonna switch that over, start another load, and get ready to start cleaning my kids' bathroom. Well, Actually, no, I need to start with my daughter's my daughter's bedroom. So I'm mainly in her closet. Her room's really not messy. There's not much in it. But this is like when I go into my zone, y'all. Um, I just start folding, folding, folding. To make sure that everything is hung up. Summer stuff goes away in the drawer and everything. She doesn't spend a lot of time in her bedroom. But I do try and make sure that it still stays clean. Now I'm heading into the kids' bathroom, spraying it down, taking the toys out the tub and everything, putting that stuff away. I'll go in, spray it down. I'm using the Method Cleaner. I love this stuff, hands down. It is the best for my family all throughout the house. Um, their bathroom doesn't actually get as dirty as I would think that it would, which is surprising because it's two little boys and a little girl. Um, so I just wipe everything down, make sure that I am sanitizing things as I leave, and definitely cleaning that tub. There's my daughter. I had I just laid her down, which was great that I had finished her her room already. So now we're going over there with the broom and cleaning that out, and I'll go back through with my steam mop from Shark and do a quick steam mop in their bathroom because I already sprayed it with some disinfectant. And then clean the mirrors because they climb on there, touch everything. I'm actually using my son's stool because I'm super short and I can't reach the top of the mirror without being my tiptoes. Now this, y'all, this is the mess of the mess. My son plays with Legos. He has all these little bit of toys and I just have to tackle it one step at a time when going through it. He's actually pretty good about cleaning his room. Well, once I get him to finally actually clean it, he'll clean it pretty well and maintain it for about a good week, week and a half. This is after about like two weeks and it just is time for me to go in there, clean, get more laundry from, you know, her bed, clean his closet. My kids have pretty big closets. Well, at least my oldest and my daughter have pretty big closets. My middle child, his is a good size, but it's just not as big as theirs. So I go ahead and make his bed. Sometimes I'll make his bed, but that, he makes his bed mainly on the weekends. In the morning, it's more get up and go. Let's, we gotta get out the door. Um, right now, I'm in his closet and just separating on the left side of the closet. That's where I put his like, uniform and stuff on the right side, so I can like regular clothes. Um, I would display a book. Crown is what we are going to be reading this week. It sort of makes kids want to read a little bit more when, you know, they see a different book, they can view it. It's always an ear shot and he's like, I mean, eye shot. 
he's in his closet a lot, you know, because his toys are in there. And we'll upgrade him to a traditional toy box. But right now, like the tote, it just sort of works and has been working. Um, I feel like I am always putting, I only put their clothes on top of the dresser when I'm in a rush. So right now I feel like I'm running out of time because actually after I clean his room, my second child's room, it's time for me to go to pick them up from school and everything. And then sometimes it's really hard to finish some things, but sometimes they cooperate with me. So my husband actually typically puts his clothes on top of the dresser and I just go back in, make sure that they're folded up tightly and put them away. Um, fix the last little bit of stuff and time's up. Got the kids and they're watching the movie right now. The kitchen is clean. The downstairs is clean. Um, they are quiet and content, which does not always last for too long. Now I have entered my bedroom. This is my sanctuary and I just feel like there should be a lot of peace in here. Um, my bedroom is a pretty good size. So I do know that I want to add, you know, maybe some more furniture and actually decorate it. I'm changing out the sheets and doing just, you know, fresh sheets on the bed. It's time for the, I have a really large fleece blanket that sometimes I put on my bed. I got it from Korea. Well, my husband brought it back from Korea when he was stationed there. And we love it. It is super warm. But um, I just want to change it out. It's actually time for it to go to the to the cleanups. So new pillowcases, the whole nine yards. And then we'll... You know, I do like to use little um, decorative pillows and such. They really bring a little mm, to the bed. And then an extra blanket always, mainly for my husband. He gets a little colder than I do at night, and I get a little hotter. So um, I like to put one, uh, one of those. And I got this set and the pillows between... Walmart and most of my pillows came from Big Lots. I really do enjoy Big Lots. I do have more um, little decorative pieces. So I cleaned out my off my vanity. I'm thinking of redoing it. I don't really use it much. There's my middle child. This is my nightstand and we're just going to wipe that down. Bring the room together as a whole and put up my laptop as well as my charger. I'm trying to keep the, you know, like tops clean and clear because it makes me just naturally pick up more. My closet needs to be better organized, but it's not, it's not messy per se. It's just, if I could just have things in more color coordinated, um, like containers, I think I would like that better. So we're sort we're winding things down a little bit more now and entering into my bathroom. Y'all, let me tell you, I've been so proud of myself for keeping my countertops clean because I am the queen. You could ask my husband. I am the queen of leaving toothpaste and hair products. But ever since I started my lock journey, I don't use a lot of products in my hair so there's really not much my routine in the morning it's just so quick it's so simple it's like get up and go I don't have to do much thought and I still look in my opinion well put together so I do love how simple having locks now is you know um and I can dress them up with the wrap uh with the wrap as well as a couple of you know scarves or beanies I like that right now I'm standing at the top of I'm standing on the edge of the shower so that I can get that really clean I use um, I do spray it down with um, a shower cleaner from method as well I will spray it down and clean that out but to keep that soap scum look like off of my shower the walls I really just use glass cleaner 
like almost like a Windex, but not the brand of Windex, I believe the brand is called Glass Cleaner. Um, and I just spray that over and we'll wipe that down and move on. It works pretty well. I try not to, I guess, stress too much over it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But occasionally I do get like soap or shaving gel that will stick to there and I gotta, you know, give a little, a little more love. Just, <laughs> sometimes my whites are like super aggressive and I'm just like, I don't even know, like, girl, what you doing? What are you doing? Um, anyway, now you're actually seeing me go in with that glass cleaner. It's not super strong. And that's a plus too because, I mean, Yes, the shower opens at the top, but that's still an enclosed area, y'all. And let me tell you, those fumes will give you a headache. Uh, this is my tub. Mainly my daughter takes a bath in this tub. I, when I do my self-care and my relaxation, I will go ahead and um, soak a bit, but I don't always have the time. After this, we're just, you know, going in giving that, that toilet some love and making sure that's all cleaned up. I will finish this off with vacuuming and be done. It is a nice night. The kids are about to lay down and go to sleep. I really enjoy all of you coming to hang out with me and I will be posting more. Happy holidays. I hope that you enjoy whatever holiday you celebrate and that you have a great time with family and friends because I know I will. Just me, my husband, our kiddos. Seems like it's going to be a pretty quiet Christmas, which is always beautiful. I will see y'all next time in my next video. All right. Peace.